This is what I've used to transport clean laundry for years, and it works as long as you nicely place a relatively small amount of laundry in it. But as soon as you start throwing laundry at this IKEA bag willy-nilly, things start to get messy, and they take a second to clean up in order to make the bag transportable again. Another side effect of using these bags is that my laundry can pile up for eternity. Let's solve this problem. I realize that there are already solutions to this problem, namely laundry baskets, but I want to make my own solution. I'm thinking I might be able to transform my current boring hamper into a dual purpose hamper that can handle both clean laundry and dirty laundry. What I'm thinking I'll do is just use the holes already cut into the hamper to mount a bracket to the bottom inside edge of the hamper. Then I will use a dovetail to connect that bracket to an arm that extends out into the hamper and perhaps holds a piece of cloth. I could use T-bolts to screw through the hamper into the bracket to hold the bracket in place. To attach the piece of cloth to the arm, I could design holes into the arm and then sew through those holes into the cloth. When it comes to the top bracket, all I have to do is create some sort of shape that tightly resembles the shape of the outside top edge of the hamper. Then I'll have to copy whatever I do for the bottom arm for the top arm as well. Back on the subject of the arm, maybe a better way to attach the cloth would be with screws screwed through the cloth into threaded holes. Regardless of the arm design, I'm pretty set on using dovetails to attach the arms to the brackets. And speaking of dovetails, maybe I could use those to attach the cloth to the arms as well as attach the arms to the brackets. After some more thought about the top of the hamper, I'm thinking that an even more snug design will be advisable, especially if there's any amount of force applied to these brackets. Now that I've finished brainstorming, I'm gonna start getting some dimensions so that I can move towards actually designing in CAD. First, I'm gonna find the dimension of the holes in my hamper, and then I'm gonna start finding how far away the holes are from each other so that I can create my bottom bracket. Next, I'm gonna try to get a rough outline of the top lip of my hamper before I start actually dimensioning all the individual features of that top lip. After I finish getting the rough outline and start taking actual dimensions, I'm going to try to get every dimension that could possibly be useful because I don't want to have to come back later and grab more dimensions after I've already started designing. Now that I have a rough idea of what I'm designing, I'm going to jump into Fusion 360 and actually start designing. And instead of focusing on perfection, I'm simply going to focus on getting something designed. This is what my first prototype for the top bracket and top bracket arm looked like, and although it snapped on perfectly, it was facing the wrong direction. After fixing that minor oversight, I also decided to shorten the arm after some testing proved that it didn't need to be that long. After even more testing, I realized that I could get away without an arm and simply use a pin, but this realization involved redesigning the top bracket. The installation was relatively easy. The first step is to simply take the bottom bracket, ensuring that the opening is facing down and screw it into the bottom middle of the hamper with the four provided T-bolts. After completing the bottom bracket installation on the other side, the second step is to wrap your cloth divider around the provided dovetail pin and then to slide that dovetail pin into the corresponding opening in the bottom bracket. Do your best to ensure that the cloth remains tight when you repeat this process with the second bottom bracket. Now you can go back and fully tighten the T-bolts on the bottom brackets for extra stability. Step 4 of the assembly process is to clip the top bracket onto the lip of the hamper and then to wrap your piece of cloth around the provided pin before placing the pin and the cloth into the hole in the top bracket. 
Now repeat the top bracket installation process on the other side and be sure to test that you can easily remove both top brackets for repositioning. Now instead of using an ever growing amount of IKEA bags to transport my clean laundry, I can simply move the divider in my hamper to one side, throw my laundry into the basket without the need to worry about a bag folding in on itself, and then replace the divider so that I can continue using my hamper for dirty laundry even while I have clean laundry waiting to be folded. If you have ideas for other useful and or unnecessary 3D print projects, please leave them in the comments. And if you want to get access to these files, you can with the links in the description and or my bio.